fired by just the teenager, the 19-year-old winner in the women's 800s. We go up in distance, Garden of Life women's 1,500 meters. You see the Hayward Field and world best, Faith Kipyegon, the Olympic champion, alongside the silver medalist, Laura Muir. Kind of like broken record time, as you just look at these fields and you know, enjoyed those Olympic races, but these are more interesting. Not only are the people who performed well in Tokyo, some who didn't make it at all, and others who were disappointed in their performance. I love it. There's so much on the line here. If you want to have a redemption tour, this is a good place to kick it off. And that's for the people who didn't make the team or had a disappointing performance in Tokyo. If you have your medal, well, you're on the victory tour, and you're going out with no pressure just swinging for the fences and honestly that is Laura Ramirez in this situation that global medal eluded her for so long and she just put it all together in Tokyo stormed down that home stretch and finally got silver so no pressure today but she still wants to have a good one that Chanel Price is a world indoor champion at 800 meters out there in front trains with the local Oregon track club elite behind her Faith Kip Yegon who missed a whole season of action for the birth of her first child, but has come back in great form and taking that win in Tokyo. Laura Muir made that decision. She had some choices of which races to run. She focused on the 1500 and that paid dividends for her. Huge decision. I mean, she ran an incredible win in Monaco, 156.7 in the eight. That would have been a fantastic run for the 800 meters. Put her in great position to medal there, but she said, nope, I want to do the 15. This is all in on, on the 1500 meters. I think I can medal. Um, and the focus paid off is truly what it was, is focus. And that pressure, she thrived with it. A former training partner of Laura Muir is the Canadian, Gabrielle DeBuse Stafford, who's just a couple of spots behind Muir as they come through now with two laps to go. But look at the separation now with Bryce carrying Kip Yegon through a very swift first two laps of the track. 204.35. Yes, yeah, separation is what we see with Kip Yegon all the time. This is what she does. She is arguably the greatest of all time. And that term goat gets thrown around flippantly. It's uh, overused, it's singular. We're talking about women's 1500 meter runner, double gold medal, Rio, Tokyo. She's on pace to prove it once again and add one more accolade to that sterling resume. That was a 61-9 last lap for her. Now Price is off the track. Everyone else seemingly running for second right now. Kip Yegon, the second fastest woman in history in this event, ran 351.07 earlier this year, and she winds it up with a lap to go. She's such a perfect example of coming back stronger than ever. It sounds like a cliche, but she's proven that wrong. Had her baby in 18, came back in 19, performed pretty well at the World Championships, runner-up, and she's continuing to get better. And those lights up in front of her, that wave light technology is actually the pace for the world record, which she had been close to for most of the afternoon. Now trying to chase it with 200 to go. Debut Stafford now in that battle for second, going ahead of the former duck, Jessica Hall of Australia. But all eyes now on Faith Kip Yegon as she is welcomed into the arms of this closing stretch of Hayward Field. Valiant effort by her to get up and chase those lights, to chase that record, to continue to build the resume of greatest all time. The Hayward Field record is 356.41, and that is gone as Hall will come across the line in second. And a great performance for her. And it looks like America Josette Norris, who's been running very well this summer, closes on that last stretch for third. And correction, it was Lyndon Hall, the other Australian, that finished in second, under four in 359.73. And here's the home stretch. Faith. Putting in the work, she knows she's clear. Just digging, trying to make a statement, continue on the victory tour.
So the meet record loses about three seconds, which is just remarkable given the context of what we've witnessed over the 46 editions of this Prefontaine Classic. 353-23. as Kipiegon takes a break on the track. <laughs> Celebrating that win at 1,500 meters as she backs up the win in Tokyo. Lyndon Hall of Australia and Josette Norris of the United States, second and third. And fellow Americans, Shannon Osika out of the University of Michigan winds up in fifth. 